us on the telephone now is Koki Koiman, who's a global fund manager at Sanlam Investment Management. What was your first thought when you heard what was going on over the weekend, i.e. the referendum and the extraordinary reaction, well, not the extraordinary, the natural reaction uh, from the creditors of Greece? Well, I must say, uh, we didn't quite expect this, but we've never expected a positive outcome. Um, but, but calling a referendum right at the last minute uh, was suicidal uh, in terms of for Greece, uh, the future of Greece. So, yeah, that, that was unexpected. And uh, the markets are actually behaving fairly well in respect uh, to that. Uh, to uh, relate this closer to the African consumer, is there potentially some kind of comparison to be made between the Greek crisis and what we saw happen in Zimbabwe just a few years ago? Well, essentially what's happening in, in, in Greece, or what did happen in Greece, is that people live uh, above the means and so did the government. So the tax revenues haven't been sufficient uh, to pay for government expenditure. And, you know, that, that happens to a lot of countries, and Zimbabwe was one. Uh, the problem here is that uh, Greece wants Europe to give it a lifeline without cutting its own expenditure. So what you've seen happening over the weekend now is that Europe refusing to give them more money until they make changes. They have now called for a referendum, which puts the whole thing into doubt. But the net result is that the Greek government will not be able to pay uh, or honor any of its debts or pay salaries. So you're now going into the risk of, of potentially a revolutionary type situation where people start demanding on the street to be paid, but the Greek government not being able to pay them. So it could deteriorate quite quickly. Koki, uh, we put forward the idea that portfolio managers around the world would be um, glad that the situation has come to a head like this and that there will be probably a new regime in Greece within a month and then everything will be back on track because they will stay in the euro. But secretly, are you a little bit disappointed we didn't get the 5, 6, 10% in some markets that you wanted in order to deploy some of the cash that you've got waiting in the wings? I mean, we are totally right, is that markets are fairly expensive. I mean, if you, if you do on a scale, scale of more to 10, then you sort of at 8. So most portfolio managers were hoping for an event that would trigger markets down and give a better buying opportunity. And in fact, what has been silly last two weeks is that the European markets were quite strong, anticipating a positive outcome. So uh, one was hoping for a stronger reaction, although the bank shares generally are Italian banks and a lot of the European German banks are down 4 or 5%. What it really shows the rest of the market is that, you know, Greece has become a, a small part of Europe, 2%. There is no real exposure anymore uh, and life will go on. So uh, whether it's resolved within a month, it might be optimistic because you'll have to have a new election if the referendum doesn't go the way T plus wants it, which we think. And, you know, so it might be take longer than a month. But, you know, in the meantime, the Greek banks cannot function because uh, they haven't got capital. And, uh, you know, so no payments can be made. So, yeah, you, you do need, to, for, for Greece itself, you need fairly quick resolution. Koki, Lindsay alluded to the fact that China as well had its own movements over the weekend with the cut in interest rates there. Uh, are you also surprised by the move, if at all, and uh, the uh, impact that it's had on the Shanghai Composite there? Yeah, yeah. again, it, it, it's one of those situations where you had multiple outcomes. And I must say I'm surprised that they cut again, but it wasn't unexpected. In, in what's happened in, in China is you've also had a situation where government has just been spending its way into growth and a lot of the spend in terms of infrastructure has not been productive and is still sitting as debt. And you, know, you haven't had anywhere in the world in the past, well, as long as, as we know history, of, a, of a, a government being able to do this. So it always has ended in tears. And so the last trick of the Chinese government has been to try and generate a stock market rally by, by lowering interest rates and to try and build confidence. Uh, and now with the stock market coming down, uh, you know, they're trying to cut interest rates and release reserves to try and keep propping the thing up. So, yeah, I think China is actually a bigger problem than Greece. Uh, and if indeed confidence in China does evaporate internally as well, and it goes to a 4% growth rate, uh, you know, you still could have uh, nasty consequences there.
Sure. Thank you so much for your time today, Koki. Uh, that was Koki Koyman there joining us uh, for more perspective. He's from Sunlam Investment Management.